The Texas Longhorns had a huge 2018 recruiting class and Tom Herman and crew have another big time class in 2019. They currently rank number three in the nation according to 24-7 Sports, only trailing Alabama and Georgia. And they already had a big time class for 2019 and that got even bigger when the news came out that modern day's five-star athlete Brew McCoy was leaving USC and enrolling in Austin. In my opinion, he's the best overall player from the class and all the five-star wide receiver did during his senior campaign was lead the Monarchs to their second consecutive CIF Open Division State title, hauling in 78 receptions for nearly 1,500 yards and 18 touchdowns while playing against the best competition in high school football. The skill position dudes the Longhorns have coming in are off the charts. Joining McCoy is the Gatorade Player of the Year, Jake Smith. He was one of the most versatile players in the country. He had nearly 800 yards rushing, over 1,000 yards receiving, 37 total touchdowns, and was also a big-time return specialist. Five-star wide receiver Jordan Winnington is a name to keep tabs on. He will be an impact player in the Big 12 for sure. He helped lead Quero to its first state title since 1987, breaking Eric Dickerson's 4A state championship game record, rushing for 334 yards. Whittington was named the offensive and defensive MVP after having nearly 400 total yards, 6 touchdowns, and 11 tackles. A couple other huge skill position guys for the Longhorns 2019 class include Trinity Catholic's Marcus Washington, who showed what he can do against legit competition be named the co-MVP of the Under Armour All-American game and they also have Chandler's four-star tight end Braden Lybrock signed. He checks in as the number five tight end overall and he just helped Chandler win its third straight Arizona 6A state title during his senior season. First off I want to give my thoughts and prayers to Darian Brown who has been hospitalized this week and we hope for a speedy and full recovery. The four-star running back showed what he can do during his senior season when he became the full-time starter at Buford High School school, rushing for nearly 2,000 yards and 28 touchdowns. Sam Ellinger was a big-time in-state gift for Texas back in 2017, and the same can be said about Roshan Johnson in 2019 at the quarterback position. He's one of the most talented QBs in the country, and he can beat you with both his arm and legs. During his high school career, he threw for 7,700 yards and rushed for nearly 5,000 more to go with 170 total touchdowns. Texas also has a couple of big-time dudes on the offensive line, either already enrolled or signed in Tyler Johnson and Isaiah Hook Finn. Leading the way for the defensive recruits is one of the most versatile players from the class of 2019 to Gabriel Floyd. The four-star linebacker from Westlake High School out in Southern California had 120 tackles, six sacks, and scored a touchdown four different ways during his senior season. Another stud linebacker in this class is Cinco Ranch's David Javenda and expect him and Floyd to be a nice duo on the second level for Coach Tom Herman. The defensive backs Texas had come in 2018 made a huge impact as true freshmen and they got another loaded secondary coming in for the class of 2019 led by Plano East, Tyler Owens, Grayson's Kenyatta Watson II and Mayfair's Chris Adamora. All three four-star prospects check in the top 200 overall and all three are three of the most instinctive DBs in the country. Texas ended last year taking down Georgia in the Sugar Bowl and finishing the year in the final top 10 AP rankings and with the players they have coming back along with the 2019 class expect the Longhorns to have a good chance at making the college football playoffs next year.